Man, you get it, man. Another beautiful evening in the great state of Colorado. I got some super good news too, man. I'm I'm stoked about it. I didn't I didn't realize it, but I got a message from uh, my wife from Parks, and uh, I drew a bear tag too in a secondary. So I got a mule deer tag and a bear tag. So that is really kick ass. And then I got uh, my bear, my mule deer is more proud on the flats. My bear tag. It's right down here and up in the up in the mountain range. So I can also buy a pronghorn tag over the counter. My pronghorn tag for the same unit. I can hunt in the same unit as my bears. So pronghorn is August 15th, opens up and runs to September 20th. My bear tag comes in uh, September 2nd and runs to the end of September. So there's going to be a couple weeks there, man. I'll be able to do big game tags available at one time, same area. So never pronghorn hunting. Never bear hunted, brand new dirt that I've never been on as well. So it's going to be interesting. I can go out and pronghorn hunt on some dirt I have been on. I have seen pronghorns, but I'm going to want to spend more time pronghorn hunting where I'm going to be bear hunting. So it's going to be interesting. It'll be fun for sure. And then, you know, at the end of September, then comes October, and I can be I, my milder tag is good for October, clear to the end of December. There's like a there's like 10 days in there where they wrap them a little bit. And so I'm laid up for 10 days, but that's about it. But if I fill my mule deer tag, then I can go in and get an OTC over-the-counter tag, uh, December whitetail. So, I mean, I got plenty of hunting. I got some big dumb ducks down there on the river, man. I got geese down there, too. I want to try that with a bow. Go down there and do some wing hunting. So I'm still, I got plenty of hunting. It's going to be a lot of new experiences, a lot of new dirt. Talk about adventure. Love it. But you guys might shit because I'm going to use that as one of my number one bows to hunt with. <laughs> Out of all the bows I got. 1955 Bear Glass Pirate Kodiak wall hanger. I bought it for $99. Had a hole drilled in it, stuck on the wall. I put a different grip on it. I filled in the hole, put a different grip on it. Left the original grip on it underneath there. Covered it up. And. You guys will probably think, man, this guy's crazy too, man. I'm going with a cedar arrow, 5 sixteenths out of this bow, 125 grain heads. So I'm looking at 440, 445 grain max weight arrows. I do have a 31 inch draw, so I'm getting 52 pounds out of this bow instead of 42. It's gaining about 10 pounds up my draw past the uh, marked weight. Anyway, that's going to be one of my main bows. I'll be pronghorn hunting with, I'm sure it's just so light to carry. And new dirt. I'm not going to want to be lugging around no heavy bow. I'm going to use a Fred Bear 125 grain razor with Noble Leader. So, this will be one of my main bows. I'll be pronghorn hunting with this. I might switch out for the bear. I might not. I'll, let me get a shot with this. And then uh, one of my other main bows, I'll do a shot with it too. All right, that was at 15 yards, 1955 Bear Kodiak. Only 52 pounds with a 440 grain arrow. Total weight arrow, 516 cedar. Now let me get the, the bigger boy. I'm getting about 60 pounds out of the bigger boy, 57 in it. Give it a shot. That was a bigger boy, right there. Let's go check out this the arrow penetration. 52 pound and 57 pound. Pretty close, got more grains in the yellow than the red. A little harder hitter, a little faster bow. But uh, these are going to be my two bows. Hold on one second. I'll sit them down so you can see them. My two main hunting bows out of all the bows. Now you guys know, man, I got a Damon Howitt mid-80s bow, 70 pound. That shoots really fast. And I got Ben Pearson deadhead broadheads that, you know, they're going to open them up. Put a hell of a blood trial. Got a 1961 Bear Polar. I have a 1962 Bear Grizzly. 
1967 Bear Grizzly. And I have a newer bow that I just got in my 1972 Kodiak Hunter that I really like. So what two bows do you think are the bows I'm going to be using more than that? There they are, man. Both low grips. I have a 60 AMO and a 62 AMO. Those will be my two main bows. This one's 48 pounds. It's a Bear Grizzly. 48 pounds at 28.62 AMO. It's pulling right on the money. Five arrow quiver that I bolted on a mint bow. So a lot of people won't like that, but it's one of my main hunting bows for sure. It's fast. It's lightweight to carry, and it's the most comfortable bow in hand I have. And I got five arrow quiver that goes with it. And then my 1955 Fred Bear Kodiak. So I'm going to be around 1132s Fred Bear, 516s Fred Bear. Those are going to be my two main hunting bows. You see the penetration, 52, 57. So you got five pounds difference, 1132 to a 516. Penetration pretty much the same. Whereas the uh, arrow penetration with a uh, practice field point on it. Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. I'm just stoked. I want to put that video on my two main bows and all the bows I got. Those are the two. We'll see you guys. What's funny is $99 wall hanger. We'll see you guys. Take care.